hello guys a very good morning today we are going to see some scenario based mainframe related questions from our subscribers sent through the email so let me quickly go to the questions one by one and if you have any doubts you can post in the comment section and if you want to try the particular scenario in a different approach please comment in the comment section okay okay the first question will be how to execute second and fourth steps among four steps in a jcl okay you can see the screenshot and there you can able to see the job card on the first line and the job card uh, we are going to restart the particular step which is step two first and obviously start from the step two uh, by skipping the step one and in step three we have we are using the condition parameter so cond equal to zero less than less than or equal to zero so if the step two is executed successfully means that particular step three will be bypassed and it will automatically move to the step four so obviously step two and step four will work step three will be bypassed and the step one won't be started because we are going to start from the step two because using the restart function in the job card okay okay we can go to the next question how to remove four duplicate records and copy the fourth one using jcl okay first of all we need to uh, by using the sort utility we need to sort the particular ps file and there is a, a keyword called some fields equal to none xm so we, ha we have to use that xm is nothing but a da data set where it can store the duplicate values alone by using that we can write the all the duplicate records in a particular data set then in the particular data set again we are going to use the sort conditions in the sort code uh, we can in the system we can use the sort fields and there we can use skip break equal to three so obviously the first three records will be not uh, selected and the fourth one will be copied so by using that we can take the fourth uh, duplicate record i'm not sure uh, why this query arises because for all the records will be same but based on the question yes by using this xm we can took the records in a different data set and there we can use the sort code and use skip prec 3 and there we can able to isolate the particular fourth record and it will be copied and we can display it okay okay next question okay discuss about uh, changing data set name in a proc i think uh, it's regarding overriding the data set name i guess okay for overriding a particular data set name in a proc uh, we can use the syntax uh, which is shown in the screenshot short first we need to provide this proc step dot proc name proc sorry proc dd name which is already there and we are going to replace right proc step name dot proc uh, the dd name we are going to replace then we can use the uh, dd dsn equal to overriding data set name the new name which we are going to give so we, we can provide after that is equal to so this is how we can override the data set proc step name dot proc data set name dd dsn is equal to the new name which we are going to give for the particular data set this is how we can change the data set name by overriding concept if you have any guys you have any other approaches you can comment in the comment section okay not only for this question for every question you can just mention the question number and you can comment in the comment section Okay, next question explain sorting techniques in cobol program in cobol uh, we can sort by using ascending key or descending key uh, please see this uh, example which was provided in the screenshot so you will get a better understanding about this thing so okay this is a, a employee uh, record so first we are using the sort functionality and the next will be sort employee on ascending key employee id using source employee giving target employee okay 
the first thing the sort it it's mandatory thing by mentioning we are going to sort the second one is a sort employee it is a work file that is an interface between a source file and target file here the source file is source employee and the target file is target employee and on is used next to the sort employee which is an order of sorting it, it will determine what kind of sort we are going to do whether it is an ascending or descending the next one is obviously the key the employee id we are using is a key then next after the using we can use the source file and giving the target file the target file where all the records are sorted and will be displayed in the target employee okay uh, state the various causes of SOC 1, SOC 5 and SOC 7. Okay, SOC 7 uh, can be uh, happened, SOC 7 happened, can be happened due to a misspelled or mistake we do in the DD name. And if you are trying to uh, read or uh, write a data set which was not opened, which was unopened means at the time also we will receive the SOC 1 amend. And if you are trying to call a sub program and if the sub program this was not actually present means at that time also we will receive that uh, SOC 1 event. The SOC 5 uh, it will happen due to if you are using any subscript or index means which was not properly done at the time also SOC 5 event will happen. And if the perform statement was not closed properly the exit was not done properly means at the time also. Uh, there may might be a chance of getting SOC 5 and yeah and then if you are closing a data set which was not already closed means at the time also we will receive the SOC 5 abend okay SOC 7 abend will happen uh, is there any non-numeric data field was uh, passed to the numeric data field it will result in the SOC 7 abend uh, other than that, uh, if the working source restriction was not uh, initialized properly, means there might be a chances of getting this SOC 7 hour. For SOC 7 abund, if it is ca is it's due to the error causing data, means for, I told you earlier when the numeric data, uh, non numeric data was passed to the numeric data field, means we have to remove the particular error causing data and we can rerun the uh, particular step or restart the particular step. Uh, to give it as a permanent uh, resolution uh, what are the differences between external and internal sort okay external sort uh, we already saw an example uh, uh, regarding the cobalt sort uh, functionality that was an external sort if you are using if we are, we are using the keywords like giving using on uh, we are using a source file, work file, a target file. We see, saw that in a previous example. That was an external sort by using COBOL. Uh, internal sort, uh, it was used, uh, we are using a sort utility in a JCL, right? By using sort code, sort utility, if you are using it in a JCL, uh, that was an internal sort. With the help of utility, we will sort the particular records based on our requirements so we saw one duplicate uh, record uh, question also previously that was an external sort query okay so this is the uh, difference between the external and internal sort uh, guys if you if there is any clarification please uh, comment in the comment session so that our community will able to uh, i mean go through that and we can come with a different solution in the next session if i done any mistake or something okay Feel free to comment or mail me. Okay, is it possible to change X hundred alpha numeric hundred field with two hundred? If yes, how? Yes, we can change the length by using the redefines function. Uh, please see the screenshot below for the better clarification. Okay, if it is, is it possible to check if the file is empty or not in a jcl yeah there is a possibility to check the file is empty or not for example if you are using a visam or gdg the utility we are going to use is id cam so that uh, after the job completion if the return code results in four the return code is four means uh, there is a fair chance of 
the file should be empty we can cross check using that uh, whether the file is empty or not in the particular data set or the gdg version 